Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage here in Las Vegas for wall-to-wall -wall coverage, Ada's reInvent 2022. Our 10th year with theCUBE. Dave and I started this journey 10 years ago here at reInvent, been there two sets here, a set upstairs. Great content, I'm here with Paul Gillen, my co-host. Paul's out reporting on the floor, doing some interviews. Paul, what do you think so far? It's pretty crazy activity going on here. Well, the activity hasn't declined at all. I mean, here we are in day three of the show, and it's just as busy out there as it was on day one. And uh, you, there's just an energy here that you can feel, it's palpable. Uh, there is a lot of activity around developers, developers, a lot around data, which actually brings us a good segue into our next guest, because one of the uh, uh, leaders in uh, data management in the cloud is Maria DB. And um, John is the CRO at, John Back, he's the CRO at uh, MariaDB, and here to talk to us about your, your cloud version and how open source is going for you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. So well, give us the update on the, on the product. What's, what are you guys doing, the relationship with AWS, how's that going? Give us a quick in update. In the relational database? No, no, the relationship with AWS. Oh, with AWS, and, yeah. And so Sky SQL, what's the update? There's no relationship that we have that's more important than the AWS relationship. We're building our cloud, our premier cloud service called Sky SQL um, on AWS, and you know, they offer the best world in best in class infrastructure for a SaaS company to build what they're building. And for us, it's a database service, right? Um, and then beyond that, they help you from the business side, right? They try to get you uh, lined up in the marketplace and make it possible for you uh, to work best with customers. And then from a customer perspective, they're super helpful in not only finding prospective customers, but making that customer successful, because everybody's got a vested interest in the outcome, right? Yeah, a little tongue twister there, relational database, relationship. Yeah. You know, we've got relational databases, we've got unstructured. Data is at the center of the value proposition in Swami's keynote today and the Adam CEO's keynote. Data and security dominated the keynotes yes. and the conversations, yep. so this is real, customers are really wanting to accelerate their developer experience, yep. developer uh, pipelining, more code faster, more horsepower under the hood, but this data conversation, it just never goes away. The world's keeping it up never around. goes away. I've been in this business for almost 30 <laughs> years and we're still talking about the same key factors, right? Reliability, availability, performance, security. These things are pervasive in the data management because it's such a critical aspect to success. And in this case of Sky SQL, you have both a transactional and an analytical engine in one. That's correct. Right? Yep. And that was a uh, what is what has the customer adoption been like of that hybrid, or, or I guess not a hybrid, but a, a yeah, dual? Yeah. So, so the the thing that makes that important is that instead of having siloed services, you have integrated data services. And a lot of times, when you ask a question that's analytical, it might depend on a transaction, and so that makes the entire experience best for the developer, right? So to take that further, we also in SkySQL offer a geospatial offering that integrates with all of that. And then we even take it further than that with distributed database with Expand, MariaDB Expand. A lot of, lot of discussion, geospatial announcement today on, on mm -hmm. stage. Um, just the diversity of data, and your experience in the industry, you know, there's not the one database that rules them all anymore. There's a lot of databases out there. How are customers dealing with, I won't say database sprawl, because you need databases. Yeah. You got real time, transactional, you got batch going on, you got streaming yeah. data, yeah. all kinds of data use cases now, all kind of having to be rolled together. Right. What's, your, what's your reaction, what's your take on, on the state of data, databases? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, when I started in this business, there were four databases, <laughs> and now there's 400 databases. And the best databases really facilitate great application development, so having as many of those services in real time or in analytics as possible, means that you're a database for everyone or for all users, right? And customers don't want to use multiple databases. Sometimes they feel like they're forced to do that. Um, but if you're like MariaDB, then you offer all of those capabilities in an integrated way that makes the developer move faster. Now, uh, Amazon made a number of announcements this morning about the, in, in the data management area, including geospatial support on, on, RDB, uh, on RDS, I believe. Uh, the, how do you, I guess coordinate you know, yourself, your, your sales message with their sales message, given yeah. that you, you are partners, but they are competing with you in some ways. Yeah, there's always some cooperation, I guess, that happens with uh, AWS in the, in the various product silos that they're offering their customers. Uh, you know, for us, we just, we're one of thousands of, obviously, partners that they have, 
And we're out there trying to do what our customers want, which is to have those services integrated, not glued together um, with a variety of different integration software. We want it integrated in the service so that it's one data provision, data capability for the application developer. It makes for a better experience for the developer in the end. On the customer side, what's the big activity? I mean, you got the on-premises database, you got the cloud. When should a customer decide, or what's the signals to them that they should ah. either move to the cloud or change, be distributed? What are some of the forcing functions? What's the, what's yeah, the market Yeah, I've come like? a long way on this, but my opinion is, is that every customer should be in the cloud. And the reason simply is the economies that are involved, the pace of execution, the resilience and re dependability of the cloud, Amazon being the leader in that space. Um, so when, when, if you were to ask me, right now is the time to be in Sky SQL because it's the premier data service in the cloud. So I would take my customer out of their on-prem and put them all in AWS on Sky SQL if I could. Not everybody's ready for that, but my opinion is that the security is there, the reliability, the privacy, all of the things that maybe are legacy concerns. It's all been proven to be adequate and probably even better because of all of the, the, the economies of scale that you get out of being in the cloud just generally. Now, MariaDB started on-premise, though, and you still have a significant customer base on-premise. Right. What, if anything, are you doing to encourage them to migrate to the cloud? Well, so, we have hundreds and hundreds of customers as MariaDB, and we're, we weren't the first database company to put their database in the cloud, but watching it unfold helped us realize that, you know, we're going to put MariaDB in its best form factor in SkySQL. It's the only place you can get the enterprise version of MariaDB. Uh, in a cloud service, right? So when we look at our customers on-prem, we're constantly telling them, obviously, that we have a cloud service. When they subscribe, we show them the efficiencies in the economies, and we do get customers that are moving. We had a customer, O2 Telefonica over in the UK, uh, that moved from an on-premise to manage their Wi-Fi services across Europe, um, and they're very happy. They've been, they were one of our very first Sky SQL customers, and that, that is, routinely proven itself to be a path towards not only a better operation for the customer, they're up more, they have fewer outages because they're not inflicting their own self wounds that they have on in their own data center. They're running on world-class infrastructure what on a world-class what, what are some of those self wounds? Is it personnel, kind of manual mistakes, just yep. outages, reliability? Yep. What's the real cause and then what's the benefit alternative in the cloud that? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think you know when you when you repeat the same database implementation over and over on the infrastructure, it gets tested thousands and thousands of times. Whereas if I'm a database team and I install it once, I've in, I've tested it one time, and I can't account for all of the things that might happen in the future. So the benefit of the cloud is that you just get that repeat ability that happens and the. The, all of the sort of the kinks and bugs and issues are, are worked out of the system, and that's why it's just fundamentally better. We get 99.9999% uptime yeah. because all of those mistakes have been made, solved, and fixed. Fully managed, obviously. Yes, right. Huge benefit. Right, And exactly. people are moving, it's just a great benefit, so yep. I'm a fan, obviously. I think it's a great way to go. I got to ask about the security, though, because big conversation here is security. What's the security posture? What's the security story to customers with? Sky SQL and MariaDB. Right, right, right. So we've taken the server, which was the initial product that MariaDB was founded upon, right? And we've come a long way over the several years that we've been in business. Um, in Sky SQL, we have SOC 2 compliance, for example. So we've gone through commercial certifications to make sure that customers can depend, that we are following processes, we have technology in place in order to secure and protect their data. And in that environment, it is, it is repeatable. So every time a customer uses our DBAS infrastructure, database as a service infrastructure called SkySQL, they're benefiting from all of the testing that's been done. They go that and do that themselves, they would have to go through months and months of processes in order to reach the same level of protection. Now MariaDB is distributed by design, is that right? Yes, yeah, so we have a distributed database, it's called Expand, MariaDB Expand, and it's an option inside of SkySQL. It's the same cost, as MariaDB server, uh, but expand is distributed. And to, the easiest way to understand what distributed database is, is to understand what it is not first. What it is not is like every other cloud database. So most of the databases, strangely, in the cloud are not distributed databases. They have one single database node in a cluster 
That is where all of the changes and writes happen. And that creates a bottleneck in the database. And that's why there's difficulties in scale. AWS actually talked about this in the keynote, which is the difficulty around multi uh, writer in the cloud. Right. And that's what Expand does. And it spreads out the reads and the writes to make it scalable, more performant, and more resilient. One node goes down, still stays up, but you get the benefit of the consistency and the parallelization that happens in Expand. So when would a customer choose Expand versus yeah. MySQL vanilla? So we have, I, I would say a lot of times, but the, the profile of our customers are typically like financial services, trade stores. Um, we have Samsung Cloud. 500,000 transactions per second in an expand cluster where they run their, their sort of their Samsung cloud for their, their mobile device unit. Um, you know, we have many customers like that where it's a commercial facing website, often or a service, where the brand depends on uptime. Okay, so you know, if you're an exchange or if you're a mobile device company or an IOT company, you need those databases to be working all the time and scale broadly and, and have high performance. So you have resiliency yeah. built in, yes. essentially. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the, the major benefit of it. It hasn't been solved by anybody other than us in the cloud, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it's a differentiator for sure. It is a huge differentiator, and there are a lot of you know, interested parties. We're, we're going to see that be the next discussion, probably next year when we come back, um, is you know, where is, what's the state of distributed database, because it's really become really the tip of the spear with the database industry right now. And what's the benefits of that? Just quickly describe oh, yes. why yeah, that's important. It, obviously the performance and the, the, uh, uh, the resilience are the two we just talked about, but also the efficiency. So if you have a multi-node cluster of a single master database, that gets replicated four times, five times over, five times the cost. And so we're taking cost out, adding performance in, and so you're really seeing a revolution there because you're, you're getting a lot more for a lot less. And whenever you do that, you win the game, right? Awesome, yeah, that's true. And, the, and it seems like, okay, it might be more costly, but you're not replicating. That's right. That's the key. Replicating just enough to be resilient, but not excessively to be overly redundant. Yeah, right? I find that the conversation this year is starting to unpack some of these cloud-native embedded capabilities yep. inside AWS. Um, so, are you guys doing more around, on the customer side, around marketplace? Are you guys, how do people consume yeah. products? It's, it's really both. So sometimes they come to us from AWS. AWS might say, hey, you know what, we don't really have an answer. And that's specifically true on the expand side. They don't really have that in their list of databases yet, right? Hopefully we'll get out in front of them. But uh, they oftentimes come through our front door where they're a MariaDB customer already, right? There's over 100,000 production systems with MariaDB in the world and hundreds of thousands of users of the database. So they know our brand, not quite as well as AWS, but they know our brand. If, if you get a loyal customer base. We do, right. I mean, people love MariaDB. They just think it's one of the, you know, it's the database that they use for application development all the time. And when they see us release an offering like Expand just a few years ago, they're interested. They want to use that. They want to see, you know, how that works. And then, uh, when they take it into production and it works as advertised, of course, yeah. success happens, right? Well, great stuff, Sean. Great to have yeah. you on theCUBE, Paul. I think it's time we do the Insta Challenge here. New format on theCUBE. We usually say at the end, summarize what's the most important story for you or show, what's the bumper sticker. We kind of put it around more of an Instagram reel. Okay. What's your sizzle reel? What's your thought leadership statement? 30 seconds uh, of John. So I, the thought leadership is really in scaling the cloud to the next generation. We believe uh, MariaDB's Expand product will be the technology that fronts the next wave of database solutions in the cloud, and AWS has become instrumental in helping us do that with their infrastructure and the, all the help that they give us. Um, I think at the end of the day, when uh, expand, the story on Expand is written. It's going to be a very fun ride over the next few years. John Baker, really CRO, Chief Revenue Officer, Maria DB, great to have you on. Thank you. 34 year veteran or so in, the, in databases. <laughs> You're putting a lot of age on me. <laughs> All right. I'm 29, I'm a 29 13. again. <laughs> <laughs> I just graduated high school and I've been doing this for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Great to have you on theCUBE. Thanks, Thanks for coming guys. on. Yeah. Thanks for sharing Appreciate your it. I'm John Furrier with Paul Gillen. Here, live on the floor, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We're already into like 70 videos already. Got a whole nother day, finish out day three. Keep watching theCUBE, thanks for watching. We'll be right back.